Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you all for joining in with me today in the Warriors Prayer Room. We apologize for the delay in getting in here, but I have a guest joining in with me. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. So you all are in for um, a, a somewhat of a different experience um, here on War in the Warriors Prayer Room. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Joining me this afternoon, um, I have my apostle, Apostle Michael Bobian. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. So I honor God for him today. And I honor him today. Praise God. I thank him for joining me somewhat at the last minute, the, the very last hour. Praise be to God. But I bless God that he um, accepted to, to join me in this intercession as we are interceding and praying. Blessings to you, Evangelist Tawana and others of you that are joining in. Glory to God. Blessings to you. Now, before we begin, and, and I'm going to have um, my apostle to greet us, Apostle Michael Bobian. He will greet us in just a moment, but just before he does, let me go ahead and do these quick reminders um, of, our, of the schedule programs that comes on through the week. You can join Apostle Bobian. Um, usually he's on Thursdays, Thursday and Friday mornings for Morning Glory. Um, his schedule is somewhat uh, a bit irregular right now with us doing this uh, spiritual sabbatical and consecration and fasting. Um, he's been coming on at unusual times and many of you have perhaps come across him I at mean, three o'clock in the morning and, and different times of such. Uh, but usually he's on at, at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursdays and Fridays. And so you can catch him during that time for morning glory, joining us in intercessory prayer. And then, of course, um, he comes on on Wednesday and Friday. So he'll be on this afternoon at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, my apostle, Apostle Michael Bobian. So you can join him this afternoon uh, at 3.30 p.m. for Midday Inspiration, keeping it real to receive the word of the Lord. You can also follow us if you have not already done so. You can follow us by subscribing to our YouTube channel there on YouTube. It is KLPWC Kingdom Network. Once again, it's KLPWC Kingdom Network. And we want to invite you to, in to join us virtually on Sunday mornings. We have our own uh, prophetess and pastor Mary B. I'm so I so love to say Mary T. Isham, but I'm ha I have to learn um, how to say her new name. And until I learn to say her, her new name, I'm just going to refer to her as a uh, prophetess Mary B. All right. So she will be bringing forth the word of the Lord um, on this coming Sunday. So we invite you to join us virtually to hear and to receive the word of the Lord through our assistant pastor. And I also want to, in, to um, invite you to join in with me. Oh, I apologize. Today is only Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. But anywho, he'll be on. I'm, I'm a bit excited, um, but he'll be on tomorrow then, tomorrow morning and then tomorrow afternoon um, at 3.30. Uh, but also you can join me tomorrow morning as we journey through the scriptures. We do this every Friday and Saturday morning, um, journey through the scriptures with myself. 
Apostle Raquel R. Pender as we discover the kingdom of God. So you can join me on tomorrow morning. Praise God. And of course, I am so grateful and so happy, so elated that you have joined in with me today. Join in with us today um, in the Warriors Prayer Room as we go into prophetic intercession. We will be um, sharing from the book of Isaiah chapter 58, which is one of our focus scriptures um, during this sabbatical consecration and fasting. Praise be to God. And again, my apostle is joining in with me today. Praise God. Apostle Michael Bovian, are you there? I am right here, apostle. Right Ooh, here. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Apostle, why don't you go ahead and greet the people? Evangelist John, blessings to you, sir. Uh, blessings to everyone. And again, we're so grateful to be joining this great woman of God. I find it a, uh, an extreme honor. Uh, even though it was done at the last minute, but that's okay. I can accept that. Uh, however, uh, it is an honor to be on this broadcast with you, Apostle Pender, and uh, I'm excited for what God is doing and what he's about to do in the future. So uh, uh, I'm ready to get started. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'll try, Praise God. I'll, I'll try to behave myself knowing the fact that I'm a guest. <laughs> Listen, let the Lord use you. That's all I'm going to say. Let the Lord use you. Um, as, as I already put up there, this is prophetic intercession. We are doing prayers and decrees from the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, specifically verses 5 through 8. But the Holy Spirit uses you and leads you to um, to flow. Apostle, you have, you have free reign to flow. Praise be to God. We are moving with we are moving in the spirit. And those of you that are familiar with me and the way I operate, I operate through the leading of the spirit. And of course, that is most certainly something that you have encouraged um, and pushed um, even within myself and many of us apostles. So we won't we won't deviate from what we are familiar with doing, which is following the leading of the spirit. And those of you that are joining in with us that have just joined in with us, um, if you would, woman of valor, blessings to you, prophetess, um, go ahead and share. Appreciate it so much. If you would go ahead and share this on your platforms, even if you uh, can copy the link and, and send it via text message to those that may not be live on Facebook at this present time, if you copy the link and send it to their text message, they will receive the link that way as well. Um, praise be to God. And so we uh, we bless the Lord. We're going to go into, unless you have something that you want to share right quick, Apostle, we're going to straight go straight on over to Isaiah 58. Praise God. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. All right, let's do this. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. I did receive um, a prayer request uh, for Evangelist Tawana. She's wanting prayer for her arm. She's been having some issues with her arm. So we're going to be touching and agreeing with her as we as we go into prayer. Um, and if there's any other prayer requests, uh, please feel free to send it. I also want, I, I intended to do this, but... Um, did not. It slipped my mind as we were praying on this past Tuesday. I'm just giving out prayer requests for the intercessors that's that's that has already joined in so that they know um, the other areas that we will be focusing in prayer. Uh, but we also want to pray for a friend of my mom's. Um, I call her Miss Barbara, um, but she is she is known as Missionary Barbara Lane here in Bradenton. I call her Miss Barbara. Um, she has been having some health challenges. Um, so we want to keep her lifted up in prayer. Um, we prayed for my cousin Darius um, Hall. Uh, he's a he's my cousin. I guess he's my second cousin because his father is my cousin. So I think that's how that goes. Um, help me out, somebody. <laughs> um, but um, young, he's a young, he's a little one. And he's been battling with cancer. He's been receiving cancer treatments now for, I believe, a, a couple of years. Uh, we want to be in intercession and prayer for him. His his treatments were supposed to have concluded um, and there were some complications um, and he had to be rushed back to the hospital on this past Tuesday, past Monday or Tuesday. And so we're interceding and praying for young Darius as well. Um, 
we're praying for the Hardy family. Many of you remember we were praying for the life of um, Willie Hardy. Um, and I, I learned afterwards um, that while we were praying, um, Mr. Hardy passed while we were yet praying, um, he transitioned. So prayer is being asked for by the by the family. And we want to, we want to pray about these premature deaths as well. Uh, we definitely want to bind the spirit of premature death that has been loosed in the land. And I'm going to tell you, it's amazing because though I, I heard it and I was like, wow. And then, of course, I found out later about about what trans tra about the transition. I was like, OK, that was what what the Lord said. And then, of course, I was listening to someone that was ministering and they confirmed also that premature death has been real, has been loose in the land. And I was like, my God. And so we want to be praying concerning that um, as well. More grace to you, Minister Henry. Blessings to you. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Um, I believe those were the ones. And then, of course, we continue to pray for Mother Knotts. Apostle, I'm not sure if you're writing them down or not, but most certainly um, I, I these are the ones that I have listed. And I don't know if you have any others that you want that you have that you're wanting to add. Yes, I do. I would like for uh, the uh, the prayer warriors to pray for uh, Angel, uh, Angel, who had was in a major car accident. And her mm -hmm. name, one of her legs was amputated. Uh, and her son, uh, I think his son had been, uh, uh, it, it was a really terrible accident because her son is having a hard time as well. And then uh, Pastor, Pastor um, uh, uh, for, uh, 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 can you hear me, Apostle? I can hear you. I turned the music down a little bit because your voice was very faint. Um, okay. Um, uh, how about now? Because, you know, I have a very, very soft voice. It's we understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, 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 uh, um, I think I was saying Pastor Harvey uh, had informed me that uh, Margaret Lewis, a uh, uh, daughter, has... Uh, uh, is in a situation uh and i think there was a car accident as well and uh access to break the Lewis family uh i forget the details but she has lots of entities so that's basically it yeah yeah that's what right. that's so we're praying for margaret lewis's daughter yeah her daughters her daughters uh not the daughters, daughters okay a situation something somebody I got a I got a praise report and one of uh one of the uh one of the children I think it was uh recuperated very well but then still there's someone they're still in the in the bar and so we gotta continue to pray for them. Oh I I I didn't know that Brother Glenn's birthday. Happy birthday, Minister Glenn. I was I was waiting for you to pause and I was gonna say something. Happy birthday, Minister Henry. Oh, goodness. Oh God. Praise Amen. God. Praise happy God. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy more happy grace, birthday. more, more yeah. may the Lord may the Lord bless you in many, many more years in in good health. Praise yes. be to God. And may all of all of his will for your life be fulfilled. Amen. Praise in the name God. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 53 years. Praise God. Praise be to God. Thank you, Lord. I was just trying to. Life, long life, good health, and wealth. Come on, let's make sure we add wealth to that. Got wealth in, yes, yes. yes. And wealth. Hallelujah. Yes. Give him the mind, the mind for wealth, not just to receive it, but to handle it and to, to maintain it. Amen. Glory to God and to know what to do with it. The wisdom. Hallelujah to be a good steward over it. Amen. Yes, sir. Okay, oh, praise God. Oh, thank you. I was trying to uh, cover the uh, share list, uh, Apostle, 
Amen. 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 All right. Keep on talking. I'm just. I'm sharing. I'm sharing as well. <laughs> I'm That's sharing good. as well. So those of you um, that are listening in, if you would also help us out by sharing. Again, we are in the book of Isaiah. Um, those of you that that are participating in our spiritual sabbatical consecration and fast. I know it's a mouthful, but that is exactly the journey that we are on. Um, you know that this is one of our fo focus scriptures is Isaiah chapter 58. And so today it was in my spirit, even as I was um, studying in this book, it was in my spirit that to focus in this area um, as we pray and we're focusing specifically on verse five, six, seven, and eight. So we're going to talk about that um, and share with you, even as the Lord enters our spirit and, and feel free. I know you guys are having to type it and everything, um, but feel free to share um, what you are receiving um, as you are reading from this book. And of course, as you share, we can, we can compound it all together um, as we are praying. And I'm believing God that you know, all of our prayers are reaching heaven. The Lord is, is hearing us and we're moving in accordance with uh, with the will of God, with the word of God. And it is all being established within us. It's, it's certainly uh, making an impact and a change in our lives. Amen. Praise be to God. Did we have any other prayer requests? Any no, additional not, prayer requests? Not, I, 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 I didn't receive any. All right. Also, Prophetess um, Pamela. Prophetess Pamela, I, I know I was interceding for her um, on this past Tuesday. Uh, we want to continue to intercede for her. And the Johnson family. Okay. All right. God. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. All right. So here we go, Apostle, the book of Isaiah, chapter 58. And so I'm going to go ahead and read it. I'm reading from um, the can we, can NIV. We, can we open up in prayer? Is it possible that we can do that? Absolutely, sir. Okay. Absolutely. Ready when you, you want to go ahead? Okay. Father, we bless you in the name of Jesus for this occasion. We glorify your name for your people. We glorify you for being God on this day. We pray that you would forgive us for our sins and take away our transgression and wash away all yes, of our Lord. sins, creating us a clean heart and renewing us a right spirit, O oh God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Into this, your word in Jesus' name, that it will be a lamp unto our feet, a light unto our pathway. You yes, would Lord. hide it in our heart that we might not sin against you. You know what your people need. You know what we need. Yes, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you would grant that to us in the name of Jesus so that we can be encouraged, uplifted. Oh God, we pray in the name of the Lord in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Do a new thing. Bring forth a fresh anointing. Glory Even God. my God, let this anointing flow from heart to heart and breast to breast. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we yes. bless you. We praise you, God. We glorify you, God. Bless your name. We lift you up in Jesus name we pray. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. All right. So we're in Isaiah, Isaiah 58, beginning with verse 8. I'm sorry, beginning with verse 5. Glory to God. Let me start you out in prayer and you got me stirred, ready to pray. So we <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get <laughs> that was my it don't take it don't take it don't take much. What the spark the fire, oh, you know, spark the fire a little bit. I didn't want to be too long. <laughs> taking over your program, you know. So I said, I'm no, you, 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 you I'm are right, Apostle. You are right. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! All right, so here we go. Verse 5, it says, Is this the kind of fast I have chosen? Only a day for a man to humble himself? Only a day? Or can we say only only 30 days? So let me ask you a question. 
we're on this spiritual sabbatical consecration and fast. Those of you that are on it, let me let me say that because I know everybody that is joining in um, may not even be aware that we're doing this. But for those of you that are on and for those of you that have fasted, um, is that going to be the only fast that you do? These 30 days, are you going to be at the end of the 30 days and be like, that's it for me for the rest of the year? I'm I'm done. 30 days. Oh, my God. That, you know, blessings to you, Mother Carrie. But I have have you look and said, you know what? When this is done, I think I'm set for the rest of the year, for the rest of my life. After 30 days, I think God is with me in this. Place. But he says. Is this the kind of fast I have chosen for you? And of course, I'm not going to go back to the, the previous verses. You can go back to that because he mentioned some things there in the previous verse as well. And Apostle just might touch on those as well. So I'm going to leave leeway even for that. But he says only a day for a man to humble himself. You're only going to humble yourself for this one day. Or are you going to continue to humble yourself even after this is over? After these 30 days are over, you've been humbling yourself before the Lord, uh, prostrating yourself before the Lord, crying out to the Lord in repentance, asking the Lord to wash, to cleanse, to purify, to forgive you. Will this be the only time that you do it or will you continue to do it? Can I ask you that question? Will you continue to seek the Lord? Will Will you continue to cry out to the Lord? Will you continue to ask the Lord to wash you, to cleanse you, to purify you, to make you whole? Come on, to continuously seek the Lord? Or will this just be the, you know, is this going to be it? You're just going to feel like, you know, I, I've done what, what was asked of me. Apostle called this consecration. He called this sabbatical. He called this fast. And when this is over and done with, I'm done. Come on, anybody going to talk back to me? Have you, have, is this the fast that the Lord has put you on this one once in a lifetime thing? Is that what this is going to be for you? Is it just going to be once in a lifetime or will this be a continual thing? Will you set aside time? Um, Apostle mentioned, you know, what, what the Lord had released in his spirit. Um, even before this began, I had been doing weekly fast. Um, and then of course, a, uh, apostle confirmed um me being on the weekly fast and then of course as the lord had been speaking to him he has spoken to him for him to even be added to the weekly fast and for him to open it up for others to join in in this weekly fast and so i want to ask you the question not that we're trying to get you to join in with us on our weekly fast but we just to ask you to self-reflect and to begin to look within yourself will this be the only fast or will will you continually fast because we should we should be living a consecrated life a fasted life right where we're not just fasting here and there or we just waiting until somebody call a fast but the Lord should be able to put upon us, right, for us to fast uh, continually, to live a fasted life. And so he asked the question, is it only for bowing one's head like a reed and for laying on sackcloth and ashes? Is that what you call a fast, a day acceptable unto the Lord where you are where you are appearing before people and you're able to boast before people and appear before people as though you are fasting so that people can look at you and say, oh, you spiritual. Oh, God, you are so you're so deep. I mean, that you are you are fasting. Oh, my God. You know, Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. And they, you know, they they feeling, you know, kind of sorrowful for you because they realize that you haven't eaten or you're not eating or whichever. Come on, Apostle, you can jump in anytime you anytime you want. I'm just trying to wait. Yeah, because amen. It sounded good. Amen. Go amen. ahead, Apostle. It, it, it was, it was, it's very funny that you say that because the Lord spoke to me and gave me the message of where do we go from here? And mm -hmm. uh, after this, when the Lord said it to me, I'm like, well, okay, what, what, are you, what are you talking about, Lord? Where do we go from here? Uh um and i'm like okay wow uh um the question was asked and i'm sorry i'm not sure where we're coming from i guess you can answer that question isaiah chapter 58 we are at verse five yeah okay yeah so uh and the lord said where do you go from here and i said god what what, what I, I needed to know you know what, what the lord was talking about when he said where do we go from here and he said after the sabbatical is over with uh, which way you go mm -hmm. with this? Um, are you going to allow yourself to continue on in the consecrational mode in terms of fasting and praying? I said, well, yes, sir. Well, certainly, Lord. And, 
God said, I want you to ask the people, where do we go from here? So I'm so much uh, in agreement with you uh, when we finish, uh, because some people will bring up fast for a day or a few minutes, and then afterwards then, uh, it's like, boom, that's it. And until the next fast is called, we just don't fast. But it has to be a constant thing. It has to be a continuation thing. It has to be a thing where yes. uh, this thing going and not just just have it for just one particular time, but uh, a continual thing. And that's why the Lord spoke to me and said, join forces, amen, with your partner, Apostle Pender, so that um, y'all can to collectively bring this thing together. And hopefully that the people will see the leaders coming together with the fast. So I'm in agreement with you. I feel that we should take this not just here uh, this time, but the next time, and the next time, and the next time after that, until Jesus comes. So I'm in agreement with you. Amen. Praise be to God. It should be a continual thing. It should be a lifestyle. Yeah. Um, a, you know, it should be a lifestyle for us as believers. Um, and it shouldn't be. It shouldn't be something where we wait till. And, and Apostle, you can you can agree with me or or correct me if I'm wrong. But it shouldn't just be a thing where we wait for um, our leaders to call a fast. That's right. Am I now, right? That's that's right. Now I agree. With you. I agree with you on that because see, we got to keep in mind, if I may, if I can say this. Uh, we got to keep in mind that God gave all of us the Holy Spirit. There is no such mm -hmm. thing as having super Holy Ghost. No, we don't. Mm -hmm. We just, our responsibility is uh, is more uh, than others because our position, we're leaders. So our responsibility is a, more, a, a bit more than, than, the, than the average uh, member of the church. But no, individually, God gave us all the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit individually uh, uh, speak with us. Okay, so yeah, yeah, Amen. I agree with you on that. Why don't you get it? Praise be to God. So, so this should not be something. This should not be something to where we appear towards people as being meek and humble. Don't get me wrong. We want, um, we want to be humble. But not humble just so that people can say that we're humble. <laughs> we want yeah. to we want to be spiritual, but not just so people can say we're spiritual. So announcing it and really we we don't even announce uh, because this is something that we're doing as, as a group and we're doing it public. Uh, we're doing it with a group of people and we're on this platform for that reason. Others that tune in are aware that we're fasting. But outside of that, nobody should be aware that you're fasting unless they're in this circle of fasting, unless they have, have dropped in here and they're listening and they're participating. They don't know that we're fasting. All right. So there's no announcement being made. So again, he's saying it should not be something to where is it is it only for the bowing the bowing of one's head like a reed in, in a manner of speaking he's saying is this only so that you can appear to others as though you're fasting appear to each others to be meek and and humble are you just doing it so that you appear to others and putting on your sackcloth and ashes um you're you're wanting it to be noticed you're wanting it to be seen so in other words don't fast just so people can can know that you're fasting don't even announce that you're fasting you don't have to you don't have to announce it you don't have to display it you don't have to appear as though you are we know that there's a scripture that tells us not to appear to others as though we're fasting wash your face and all of, and i think apostle you touched on this um earlier in as we began our fasting as we began this um you know make sure you wash your face and brush your teeth and and, and clean yourself up and you know make sure you got some energy and stuff don't don't be all weak and and all that stuff dragging low and all that and you know somebody waiting for somebody to ask you well what's wrong with you and so you can tell them child i'm fasting and it is is hurting me it's killing me it's destroying me and all that stuff right no <laughs> the white lips around your mouth you know yeah you're, you're used to eating every morning and of course you know how we get you know saying not say that very 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 carefully we get and everybody got the interpretation when i use the term we we mm -hmm. get uh so where the white be all around <laughs> the white be all around <laughs> our mouth knowing the fact that we're hungry and that we're looking 
Like somebody that like, got all dry and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and brush your teeth. You gotta brush your teeth and use mouth of garden. You you could you don't drink the toothpaste. I don't think you do anyway. Some of us probably do, but you don't drink it. Uh you just gargle your mouth and uh, brush mm -hmm. it and uh don't you know what I'm saying? Don't appear as you said, don't appear to people as you're going through. <laughs> <laughs> you going through what's wrong with you? I'm going right. through I'm bad to the day and God has really used me. Come on now. Stop that. <laughs> the real. Lord is dealing with me. Yeah, yeah. The real. Lord is whooping me. The Lord yeah. <laughs> yeah. Going through, child. Oh goodness gracious, y'all pray for me. What's bad with you, child? I'm fasting. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Now that's that that is that's that's displaying uh I, 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 there's a word that i'm looking for but i have to be extremely careful in saying it because i don't want to uh use inappropriate word which i'm not going to anyway uh i don't want to say something inappropriate and people get offended because some people believe that you just have to just you know don't wash your face and you know what i'm saying don't brush your teeth right. gargle your mouth you know what i'm saying well, if you're gonna do that don't leave the house Pretty much. And even <laughs> still, I don't even see how you can stand it on yourself and not doing that. I mean, right. we, we gotta we we gotta we gotta be uh <laughs> we, just be, we just cannot be so obvious when it comes down to that. You know, possibly it shouldn't be for a show. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and what I see <laughs> what I see <laughs> like that, I'm like, okay, here we go. And that's why the book of Isaiah says, is this is what you do it for? And I can't wait to get further into it. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we're gonna go on to the next verse. Yeah, that's that's really that's really exciting. I really want to touch on that one because that's what we do. All right, I'm sorry. I said I it's was It's okay, Apostle Keep on. You go ahead. <laughs> I'm just can't wait to get don't into use it. it to don't don't use it to get brownie points with nobody. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it right there. To gain the favor with people. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. that, Getting to this deep and divine mm -hmm. corners of it, we're getting the mm -hmm. deep and divine stuff like that. So yeah, you make it seem like you're right. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so verse six, it says, "Is not is not this the kind of fast I have chosen to loose the chains of injustice? Come on, to loose the chains of injustice. Injustice may be going on in your life. Injustice may be going on in the, in your community and your neighborhood. And so when he says to loose the chains of, of injustice, there may be some that we are aware of. But then at the same time, there may be some injustices that we're unaware of. And so is this not the fast that I have chosen, that I have called you to, so that I can reveal to you the injustices of the of my people, of what my people are going through, how they're struggling, how they're they're toiling, how they're oppressed, how they're depressed. Come on, how they're suffering, how they're hungry, how they're wounded, how they've been abandoned. Is this not the fast that I have called you to? So yes, we are seeking the Lord and we are crying out to the Lord in repentance, but do not reject it when he begins to reveal to you. Because there was a question that was asked to me, and I'm not going to call names just in case they don't want me to call no names. But there was a question that was asked to me if um, something is in our heart or even if we have been given assignment previously to intercede concerning a thing, does that mean that we do not intercede um, during this time? Um, and my response was, is that if you have been given assignment, the Lord has given you an assignment, unless he tells you otherwise, you want to continue to fulfill your assignment. And most certainly if the Lord leaves, rests someone on your heart, we're not specifically going out searching for people, you know, but if the Lord lays someone on your heart, during your time it's not that you're constantly that's all you're doing we're making sure that we're spending that time before the lord in consecration and crying out to him and asking the lord to search us search our heart search our motives our agenda repenting before the lord for the things that he reveals to us that is out of place but if there's opportunity to intercede and we see here we got some prayer requests to intercede over so if there is a need for intercession we intercede so if while you're praying can i get can i say that if while 
while we are praying, the Lord places in your spirit to pray for the injustice of someone or injustice that's going on. If he puts it in there for you to pray for someone that is going through, that it's dealing with oppression and stuff, don't push it away and say the devil is a liar or Satan, I rebuke you. Begin to intercede and pray and, and see what it is that God is trying to reveal. There may be some things that we have been overlooking in our life. We have overlooked some injustices. We have yeah. become immune to things in our in our community and, and blind to some things in our community, in our neighborhood. And perhaps he's wanting us to repent relating to that because these may be the things that he is wanting to deal with us on. We have closed our eyes and we don't see the injustice. We have closed our eyes and we don't see the oppressed. Apostle talked about this some time ago about how as prophets, we prophesy to people about houses and cars and, and all of these lavish things, but we fail to see See the one that is hurting. We fail to see the one that is abused, the one that is battered, the one that is lost. We don't see them. We got all the prophetic eye in the world, but our prophetic eye can't see the weak and the lowly and the abused and the abandoned and the rejected and all of these things. And perhaps, you know, as I'm looking at this, perhaps this is what one of the things that the Lord is calling to our attention. You're you're seeking out the spiritual gift. You wanted me to use you. You wanted me to prepare you to be used. You're asking me to align me with your align me with. Uh, align you with my word. And he says, a part of my word is for you to see to the, the widows and the orphans and to the strangers and stuff. And he says, there's ones among you that are suffering injustices and your eyes are closed to it. You're, you're blind to it. And so of course it, it lets me know this, that we must repent because we have been blinded to the issues that's going on with people. We have homeless in our, in our churches. We have those that are that are suffering in our churches. I'm not even talking about in the world. I'm talking about in the body of Christ, sitting within our pews, sitting within our congregation. And we don't even see that they are these are people that don't have food to eat, that they barely have anything to to sustain them. They're working and they still can't make ends meet. Their children are suffering. They're, they don't know where their next meal are com coming from. They don't know how they're going to get their uniform and their books and stuff for school. And he says there's things that's going on in the body and i want to know do you see it you crying out to me and there's some things that i want to show you that's going on in the body of christ and it's not just about leaders that are lying and cheating and scheming and scamming it's not just about them that are, are caught up in in sexual immorality it's also about those that are sitting in your pews and they don't know where their next meal is coming from some of them they're sitting in your pews and you don't even realize that they don't have a home of their own they don't have a roof above their head they don't know where they're gonna lay down that night amen Amen. My Amen. God. Amen. He it's, says, it's not this the kind of fasting I have chosen to loose the chains of injustice and untie the cords of the yoke to set the oppressed free and break every yoke. My God, we've been we've talked about those that's sitting in churches where they're not receiving the word. They're in they're in a place of oppression. Oppression isn't just in the world. It's not just in, in you know, in someone that, that's um, sitting in there in, in the worldly places or on their jobs or enslaved in slavery. And we have people that are dealing with the spirit of oppression that is sitting in your pews. Yeah. They may be sitting right next to you in the church that you go to. They may be your neighbor. They may be in your house. Do you see it? Apostle? <laughs> amen. I agree with you. One, I mean, yeah, you going, you, you. I mean, you is a real amen. I want to add to that as well as we got to stop being so selfish with our, uh, uh, our, our fasting and praying and and thinking that we, well, we want to go to God just for us. Okay, it's wonderful that mm -hmm. you are putting yourself out, and because that's what fasting is all about for you to pay attention and keep the flesh under uh, uh under subjection and mm -hmm. i got that. and that's what we should do it you know, you know what i'm saying clean us up before we can help somebody else get cleaned up okay i got that but then after you got cleaned uh then you should reach out for others you know what i'm saying uh, uh and as you said earlier intercede for other folks don't stop interceding because that's what connection is all about don't just stop interceding because you have been on a collective fast or uh, any type of fast for your own uh, individual mm -hmm. fast, uh, you, you should intercede and keep the momentum going and don't stop it. Uh, uh, so that, uh, in fact, it, I, if I can say this, um, you're getting a more powerful 
connection when mm-hmm. you you know when Amen. you fast and now you can reach out in the sense of praying for those people who you are responsible or God has gave that assignment to you to do so that whatever needs to be taken care of in, the, in your fasting it'll it'll connect by your prayer and your fasting for them as well as with you so yeah I'm in agreement with you on that we got to stop being so selfish when it comes to mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> don't be too selfish <laughs> i know we're trying to get ours but you know there's some folks that the lord may lay on your heart that they need he need to get he need to draw them in too and yep. you know apostle would you not say that fasting would enhance our intercession i would god would do it. a perfect time to enhance inter- intercession exactly i would say that it's a it's a it's a connection uh as well as that what you stay it enhances it brings things up on another and, and maybe i use use to say i use the term a higher level that's what fasting is all about is bringing you mm-hmm. up on a higher level and in terms of the intercession intercession <laughs> uh yeah <laughs> that, <laughs> it brings that on a higher uh, on a higher scale uh yes which, so yes i would say that we're at 100 percent yeah Praise be to God. And, you know, and, and we often say this, that when we fast, fasting in and of itself, it brings us to God. It brings us. That's a it's a great way to bring us into alignment and open us up and makes us even more sensitive to hear from God. So, of course, we're going to hear more of the things that he's wanting to impart to us. And we, that's why it's so important that we not push away when he starts putting people in our spirit and when we, and then we just tuck it away. No, no, no. He's brought them before you while you're fasting um, because believe it or not, you're most powerful. You're good Lord. You're most powerful even while you're fasting. And of course he's brought them to you that while you're in this place, this consecrated place um and of course the power of god in you has it um has expanded it has increased exponentially that now this is a great time for you to intercede for them for him to move um you know i've heard it said and i believe this i've even began to say it myself um you know our prayer and petition before god our intercession is what gets god moving in the earth he needs us to pray things in order for him to move in the earth yeah, he, says he does nothing. He does. He does nothing in the earth without without us. He needs us in order for him to do what he needs to do in the earth. Yep, I agree with you. One of it. I'm glad you mentioned about the prayer because we gotta we, we gotta be we gotta be clear because uh, some people are just go without you know eating and don't pray. You gotta put that. To, you got you gotta connect that together. Yes, you just Lord. Fast without praying. You fasting you fasting without praying. Amen. Go ahead, and Apostle. You, you, you know, you, you are right. Uh, the thing is, uh, you, you want to make sure that it's not a diet situation versus mm-hmm. a spiritual situation. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, you ain't got to be saved to fast. You know, sometimes you go Come and go to experience the fact that when you go and you, get, you have to get examined in a certain, you know, get blood work. I use mm-hmm. blood work, for example. And, and your doctor will tell you to fast that day. Don't eat anything. Mm-hmm. So it don't have to be, uh, you don't have to be spiritual to fast. Uh, you can fast without being spiritual. But if you want to get a spiritual fast, you got to fast and pray. The, the scripture says, yes. signs come out by prayer and fasting. You can't do yes. one or have the other. Both of them have to be connected together so that the supernatural can take place for where it was like it's supposed to. So mm-hmm. don't leave prayer uh it don't please don't leave out the prayer add the prayer in amen so that that flesh that prayer is going to put that flesh under full subjection you're weakening the yes. flesh it, it, it has mm-hmm. no strength. it wants food it wants water or it wants whatever pleasant drink okay it wants pleasant drink mm-hmm. amen pray for me because uh, you know there's some certain drinks that i drink in terms of uh soda and stuff like that uh maybe i'll take a sip of ginger ale or something like that to get my stomach together after fasting all day but baby i miss that uh and it wants that so uh, and it's the flesh wants it exactly mm-hmm. and then want breakfast in the morning sometimes i mean i'm not 
a, 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 a really big on a, a big breakfast because I, I like to eat light, like cereal and stuff like that. Uh, but now, it, when you're doing the course of the fasting, it's like, oh my goodness, let's get the ham and eggs, the bacon, the grits, and all this other kind of stuff. There. I mean, I don't <laughs> eat all that stuff like that, but I'm saying that it was hungry. I mean, but fast in the morning, like, okay, let's just fuss out with the ham and eggs. <laughs> It's very good. So biscuits and you know all that other kind of stuff. So, you know, oh, someone's gonna join us from Jamaica. Where is they? Where are they? Going? Blessings to you, Mar Maryland. Yeah. Or, I hope I said that right. Sound like Maryland Joseph. Maryland Marlene, Joseph. Maybe. Marlene, maybe. Okay. Marlene. Joseph. Blessings to you. Blessings Thank you for joining you. in with us. Amen. Wow. Yeah, so so most absolutely, Apostle, you know, we're, if you are only denying yourself food, but you're not spending any time before God, if you're not spending any time in that word, you're not spending any time praying, all you've done is put yourself on a diet. Amen. All That's you've done right. is put yourself on a diet. <laughs> Amen. Right? You Amen. That's to, great. We, we'd have to, if it's a spiritual fast, because I mean, that's no more than what the doctors would ask. Sometimes you have to have have certain blood works done and they tell you not to eat anything and they call that a fast. But that's not a spiritual fast. Yeah, that's what I was saying. You know, the doctors tell you to uh, uh, to go and don't eat because the blood work has to be clear. You nothing mm -hmm. can get it interfere so they can read it the way it's supposed to be. So, yeah, that's right. It's a spirit. See, we got to understand. The supernatural, you know, that we don't understand the supernatural. Mm -hmm. When you go fast, you're 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 going in behind. I, I think you put it, you put it, um, you put it very nice when you said going behind the veil. You're going behind the veil. When you go behind that veil, the enemy just cannot. He cannot touch you. He can bark. He can scream, and he can just you know uh, rouse around you. But he cannot come behind that veil. So it's getting behind that veil. Praise God. Someone ask a prayer. Okay. So Marilyn asked a prayer, Apostle. Mm -hmm. Yes. We're going to go outside of our um, prayer schedule and we're specifically lifting up Marilyn. Merlene in prayer. Praise be to God. Father, that you would move on her behalf in the name of Jesus. Father, as she, Lord God, has requested prayer on today, Father God, that Lord God, that you would meet the needs in her house. Her cupboard is bare. And Father, we pray, God, as, as she is in Jamaica, we know, Lord God, that you have servants, you have people that are in Jamaica that can reach her, Lord God. And we present, dispatch your angels even now to the ministries, to the ministry leaders there, Lord God, even the prophets and the apostles, the evangelists, the pastors and the teachers in her immediate area, Lord God, that can reach her and that can meet the needs for her house. Father God, that you would make ways and you would open up doors in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Father God, that her cupboard would not be bare. And as she's believing you, Father God, for a breakthrough, Father, your word says that you give seed to the sower. And Father God, if we do not have seed, we cannot sow. We pray, Father God, that even as she is believing you for a financial breakthrough, I pray, Lord God, that you would give her seed to sow. Give her the mind and the heart and the spirit to sow seed. Glory to God that will reap a bountiful harvest. Lord God, and that, that will unlock her breakthrough, the breakthrough that she is needing. In the name of Jesus, Father, I pray, Father God, that you would move upon her even now that father even as she is in this place where she is unable to une unable to have all that she needs but father god that she would look to you that she would trust in you her faith lord god and her confidence would be in you lord god to meet her every need in the name of jesus we pray lord god that you would move by your spirit and by your power on your daughter's behalf today you said lord god that there is no good thing that you would withhold from them that you love in the name of jesus we pray father god that you would release unto her every good thing that you have in store for her but father god not only would you release it unto her but father god that you would give her the wisdom knowledge and understanding on how to maintain what you would release unto her in the name of jesus father i am praying lord god 
for Merlene, Father God, that you will begin to minister and speak to her. Dispatch your ministering angels, Lord God, to minister to Merlene, Lord God, your will, your purpose, your plan for her life, oh God. Father God, bring her into alignment with your will. Bring her into alignment with your word in the name of Jesus. Everything out of alignment, everything out of sync, oh God. Father God, that you would bring it into alignment and bring it back into sync, Lord God, with your word and Father God, with your will. May it be established for her in Jesus' name. Apostle, did you have, did you want to add to that? No, you, you're good. Amen. You're, amen. And that's what I want to add to. Amen. So let it be. Amen. Praise so be to God. Let it be. Amen. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. We dispatch angels even now. Raise them up, Lord. Raise them up. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And that takes us to verse seven. It takes us to verse seven. It says, is not, is it not to share your bread with the hungry? Glory to God. This is the fast that I have called you to. Sometimes, that, sometimes we can see a need. We can see a need and turn a blind eye to that need. Sometimes we, sometimes we don't see it. We're so caught up in our own world and the things that's going on in our own lives that we still do not see um, the needs of other people, right? And so, of course, he's calling to our attention. Is not this the fast that I've called you to so that you can see the needs of others and you can share your food with those that are hungry and that you can provide poor, the, provide for the poor wanderer um, to give them shelter? When you see the naked, that you would clothe them and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood, even your own flesh and blood. Sometimes we have more compassion for a stranger than we have for our own. Even in the body of Christ, we will help those that are in need that is in the world, but we will forsake those that's in the body of Christ. He's calling to our attention some things, some issues within the body of Christ that he's wanting to address that we cannot close our eyes. We cannot blind our eyes. We not to go outside and apostle. This would, this would even speak to us as we're getting ready to relaunch our outreach ministry, right? That not only will we seek to reach those that are outside of the body, going out into the community and reaching, reaching them and feeding them um, that are lost, but also reaching within. Because as I said, just a few moments ago, there are those that are sitting in the pews, they're attending the worship service. And we can't tell um, just by looking at them, we're not seeing that they are struggling, that they're having hard times as well, right? That they are, they're, lacking within their homes, but God is wanting us to have eyes that we can see the poor and the needy, even that are worshiping in our midst, that is worth, that is among us, that are coming in and they're lifting up holy hands and they're still leaving out, they're rejoicing with us and they're leaving out, but he wants us to be able to see beyond their lifted hands, to see beyond their, their clothes, to see beyond all of that, to see that there is a need in their life, that they need food, that they need shelter, that they're a wanderer, that they're naked, they're needing clothes, right? That we don't overlook them, but we have compassion for them as well. We oftentimes have compassion for strangers, for those that are on the streets, for the homeless that's on the streets, but we don't we don't often show the same compassion. It's almost as though we feel like, well, you here, so you should have everything that you need, but sometimes that's not the case. They don't have everything that they need. So he doesn't want us to overlook that. And I really believe that God is calling that to our attention and keeping us in remembrance of that it may not be so that you know that we are closing a bland, blinded eye but he's making sure that we don't close a blinded eye and you know and i've experienced this myself i'm going to go ahead and put my own self out there i've experienced this myself that sometimes when 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 walking blind to things apostle the lord will cause us to be touched by the very things that we have closed our eyes to or that we have become blind to he will cause us and not so much that he will bring us right to the state that they're in but let me just use this for an example uh you know there are times when you know, we have plenty in our cupboard, but the Lord will cause us to be lacking in our cupboard so that we can become aware that there's others that, you know, yes, they're serving the Lord. They're giving thanks unto the Lord. They're praising him and they're faithful in, in, in attending the service and they're faithful. 
they're t- um, they're attentive and everything and helping the ministries and stuff, but they don't have food to eat. He will cause you to go to come to a place in your life to where you don't know where your next meal is coming from, just so that he can call to your attention that there are others that may be sitting in the same seat that you're sitting in, maybe attending the same place that you're worshiping, or they're in the body of Christ that are going through the same struggle. We don't realize that there's others. We may look at them in the world and see them, but among us, we don't see them. And oftentimes God will cause us to experience it so that we can see them. Amen. I want to, I want to, if I want to kind of like go a little left field, if I could for a second, Mm -hmm. uh, and this uh, Marilyn just gave me, I hope I'm saying it right. Uh, uh, just confirm, confirm something just a few minutes ago. I'm, I'm a, I'm a trust God for this. And I want those of you that can trust God with me, if I'm allowed, if I have mm-hmm. to do this yes, on the road, uh, God just placed in my spirit to contribute $25 to this young lady. And I want those who believe God, Amen. I uh, believe God. See, these this fasting, this fasting situation is not just for us to uh reach out for ourselves and even so much mm-hmm. to say out to others in prayer. But there is someone that is hungry. This young lady said uh that uh, and I am very I'm very skeptical sometimes when people come and ask for certain things because a lot of times people come and you never know whether or not they're telling the truth or not. But in my spirit, I, I in my spirit, I believe uh, that uh, this young woman uh, had came on this uh, broadcast for a reason, and for us to to uh, to and and to test the waters and and i'm gonna i'm gonna use that and maybe another word i can use but to test the waters uh i'm hearing this the the, the scripture uh, uh it, you know i might not be quoting it like this or maybe so much and you might not even people may not see it this way but when we when we fast and we know that we can help people it's good that we pray for them but if we can reach out or trust god or believe god for uh, a miracle, then we should sow a seed into people who actually right now is in need of something. Now we got our food in our refrigerator and then of course uh, we didn't eat this morning because of our fasting, but we are able to eat. It's not that we couldn't eat, it's because we choose not to eat because we're fasting. But this young lady didn't choose not to eat. This young lady is in Mm -hmm. need. Come on, Apostle. Then glory to God. I'm feeling that in my spirit, and I am going to trust God. You see the sowing seed on the screen. I am going to ask you to to launch out in faith and trust the Lord, glory yes. to God, so that this uh, woman can eat. Glory to God. How can we go to sleep? How can we? go to sleep knowing that someone is not don't have food i mean listen look at the screen for what it says it says she hasn't eaten since this morning and uh or hadn't eaten and her she got a headache and and we can't overlook that glory to god and say that we belong to god we can't overlook that and saying that we are saved we're filled with the holy spirit it reminds me glory to god of something that this man had smelled some food from a lady's house and uh he went and he was hungry he was homeless and he was hungry he knocked at the door and asked for a plate of food didn't ask for money but asked for a plate of food and she goes into her living room this man thinking that mm-hmm. this man to come back with a plate of food so he could so that it can uh um to satisfy his need of hunger and so she comes back with oil and poured it on his head and says be ye filled and shut the door that is not of god amen it come wasn't on, 
we got, I, I, you, you can say, well, Father, I'm strapped. I'm, I think everybody's money is acting a little funny, but that's okay. We got to trust God. We got to believe God. We got to know that God is able to do the impossible. We got to launch out on faith. And I am launching out on faith. And I want those who believe God. I want those who trust God. I want those who know that God is able to do the impossible. Possible, yes. And with me with $25 for this lady in the name of Jesus. You see the screen up there. Sow that into the uh, 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 the cash app of, praise God, of uh, Apostle Pender. It, the cash app is right up there. I'm going to sow mine. I'm going to give my $25 as soon as, matter of fact, I'm going to, I'm going to send it to Apostle right now. Amen. I'm trusting God and I'm going to send my $25 right now. I need a blessing. Merlene, can... Go ahead, Apostle. I apologize. No, no, I was no. going to say for Merlene, if you can check your messenger, I sent you a message. Okay. Here, I done sold my seed. Praise God. I done sold my seed to this young lady, my $25 seed to this young lady. So this young lady can eat, praise God. And I don't know whether or not she have a family or not. I don't know whether or not she have children or not, praise God. But that is, how can we see things like that and say that we have the love of the Lord? Apostle, did you receive my $25? Yes, sir, I did. Praise God. How can we say that we have the love of the Lord in the name of Jesus and see our brother hungry, our sister hungry, and, and just ignore that? This is not what the fasting is all about. It's not just to satisfy your own personal needs, but it's to reach out for others, extend your hand to the poor, to the needy, to the hungry. And we say that we have the love of God on the inside of us. Come on, y'all. Come on. We, this is something we, we, we really got to check ourselves out. Okay, we're in need of something, but God is able, okay? Yes, God. he is. Glory and to God. Do just what he said he's going to do. Come on, amen, to contribute $25, amen. I am, stand with me with this $25 so this woman can eat in the name yes, sir. of glory to God. So this woman can eat, so this woman can have food in her house, amen. And if she have children, so her children can eat, amen. So I, that's that the Lord just, and then when she, and then when she prayed and said she believed in God in this chat for someone that she declare and decree someone is going to reach out for her on this chat. That was my confirmation right there. Amen. That was Glory my confirmation right Glory there. To God. To go and to do and to sow a seed into this woman's life. Amen. Praise God. 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 She was just awesome. Uh, uh, she was just speaking. The devil was just speaking, saying, "You know, you're dealing with the financial struggle in your own self." Well, that's the best time. For me to do what I need to do because a I'm seed in the ground. And to struggle. And if I plant that seed into the ground, I believe God. Praise God. Yes. I believe God. I don't want her to pay. She can't pay me back. I don't want her to pay me back because if she paid me back, she's messing up my program. She's messing up my blessings. She can't Come on. Praise God. She Hallelujah. Praise God. So she's messing up my blessing if she paid me back. And if I look for it to come back from her, amen, it was just a show. Uh, it, w it wasn't something from God. It was a show. I want God to do some supernatural thing and not to return it in the fact of the money, but I want God to be able to move into the church, the body of Christ, to make this fasting. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Apostle. I'm trying. I'm, 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 you I'm, are right, Apostle. I'm with you. I, 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 I want God to do some serious things. I want him to move in some supernatural way. If we do that, we got to reach out. We got to reach out and, 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 and and, and and go on the line, the limb, and say, God, this is what I'm giving you. Praise God. Like the widow woman gave the prophet uh, her last meal, trusting God and believing God, and her basket was overflow. If we want Deuteronomy 28 to come alive to us, we got to trust God. So I am, I done sowed my seed, and I'm asking you all to sow a seed into this woman's life so this woman can eat. I mean, if she has children, so them children are going to eat in Jesus' name. Okay, for now, I'm done. Okay.
Praise God. Glory to God. So any uh, anyone else that would join in? Anyone else that would join in? And we will have to find a way to actually get to her. Um, praise be to God. Apostle, you can continue. She's responding to me. Okay. Amen. So I, I just want to put anyone in. else that's wanting to um, to. Yeah. If you can't give $25, give $10, give $20, give $15, give $5, but give $5. something, amen, yes. to, to, to be able to say, okay, I don't have much, but I'm contributing this towards this woman. So this woman can eat, glory to God, so she can eat, amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. At six o'clock, we are able to eat. And the reason why we're not eating now is because we choose to not to eat because of the past. Right. Glory to God, but this woman has a voice. Amen. God let this, amen, this young woman come on this chat to see we, we so sanctified, we forget, we forget our actual assignment, our duties. We are some we are, we are <laughs> not just feed in the word of God. And we, we remember what Jesus said to the disciples and said that they've been with us all day long. Let's send them away so they can go out and eat. And Jesus said to them, he says, okay, uh, uh, well, we, we ain't got no food. Jesus said to them, he said, what y'all got? He said, we ain't got, uh, they said, we ain't got no food to feed them. And the only thing that we got is two new fishes and, and five loaves of bread, praise God. And mm. so, uh, he said, "Well, that's good enough. Give it to me." And he and sit him down. So the, and then he expanded to a point where uh, everybody was able to eat, and they had leftovers to take whatever. They, we got to understand that the kingdom of God is not for us to just to stand and preach to people uh, uh, verbally, spiritually. Right. Come on. Take it outside and bring the the people are hungry. I work at a place where I make food. And so I see people on the street. Amen. I see them on the street. And what I do when I make the food and it's finished and got leftovers, praise God, I just take the food and just give it to them and say, eat. Amen. Because there are somebody that are worse than us. Let's 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 practice who we are by going out and feeding those who are in need. I'm sorry, I am so That's right. Yes. This situation here. People, we got to understand vacation is not for us to get on these social media and preach about it. We got to be about it. We got to live be about, about it. it. Come on. This is Come part on. Of and preaching about it by us giving yes. We got to give, all right? Stop looking at yourself. You want God to bless you, you do unto others as you want them to do unto you. Give them seed into this young woman's life. Okay, you can't give $25. Okay, that's fine. Maybe you give $10. Maybe you give $15. Maybe you give $5. If 10 people or if 20 people give $5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, that's, 20, that's you know, $20. That's, that's more dollars, 5, 10, 15. Well, more than that, if 20 people, that's a lot. Amen. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. I'm bad on my math. That's a Come lot. <laughs> if, if five, 20, five, that's if, right. If $5, that lady will have enough food to last her praise God, because I believe the currencies is a little higher. It's different. Uh -huh. Amen. That's right. A little higher in it, Jamaica, so she'll have mm -hmm, a little more. The money. conversion. Amen. We, we, we give it American money, and it goes into another currency. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the Jamaican right. currency. I don't know the value on the dollar there for them, the American dollar, but I'm sure it's a little higher. Praise God. But then she can eat. She can eat all week. Praise God. Praise the mm -hmm. Lord. We just won't give for one day. We want to give enough food to last for more than one day. In the yes. name of Jesus, glory Amen. to God. Believe Amen. God for that. Praise God. I have glory something. God. Sorry, Apostle. I'm just getting stirred. No, you are right. You are right, Apostle. Listen, and whatever you can give. And if you can't, if you if you can't give five dollars, drop it four, three, two, one. Send whatever you can to a sister. Like Mine is already added. You can send it to the Cash App. The Cash App information is there. It's scrolling across the screen. Is the dollar sign K L P W C. The dollar sign K L P W C. And we'll work out how to get it to her. Um, she is in a foreign country. And I don't know um, what method that they have um, to receive, but we will find out and get the, what 
get to her what we need to get over to her. And we're just asking you to help us. It's just amazing how quickly this word is being tested. You see how Amen. quickly God is testing what, what he is saying to us. I mean, we're talking about it right this moment. And it's here it is. We're being faced with it. So, you know, he's challenging us with this. He was telling us with his it. word and Amen. even examining our heart, examining Amen. our heart when it comes to his word. When we say, God, I want Lord, I want you to use me. OK, here's an opportunity without question, without question as to is this legit? Is this, you know, without question, Amen. he says, trust me. Trust me. Listen. And even if even if it isn't all right, God will still bless Amen. Why? Because, because you did it out of pureness and the sincerity of your heart. Come on, that, Pastor. Come on Apostle. Say that. You That's did it out of the sincerity of your heart. Come on, Apostle. Some say that. Some passion that moved within you. Come on, Apostle. Come on. Say that. And he right says this, there. those that give to the poor lends to the Lord. Oh, God. You better say he that. He that right gives here. to the poor lends to the Lord. So God owes you for what you have done for someone that is in need. Jesus, because you gave out of what you believe. You believe that you were helping. You believe that you were assisting. You were pouring into someone. You were being a blessing to someone. God honors that. Amen. God Amen. honors that. Yeah. Mine is already added, Apostle. So what you know, we want to be a blessing to this this lady. I don't I don't know who she is. All I know is it's, it's a person that is in need. I had every intentions of already sending. So I'm, but I'm glad that you said it, Apostle um said it out loud i already knew what my intentions was going to be and so those of you that can that can add to what we're doing we encourage you to do so you don't lose you don't lose when you when you do what's in your heart that god has placed in your heart to do when you do something out of the goodness of your heart you do not lose Right, thank you, Lord. <laughs> huh? Okay. All right. I'm sorry, Apostle. Just something just kept me in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. All right. So as you're as you're um, praying about that and you all are working towards that, we want to continue on. We're going to continue on with this um, for today. Again, I'm going back to verse seven. It says, is it not to share your food with the hungry and to provide the poor wanderer with shelter? So those that are hungry, is it not the fast that I've called you to that you would help to meet the needs of the hungry? to give shelter to the one that is one that is wandering somebody that does not have shelter to give um to clothe the naked those that have no clothes and you know that you're in a position to provide clothes for them is it not the fast that I've called you to that you would see to the to their needs right and that no one and not to turn away from your own flesh and blood specifically understanding this and when and this he says flesh and blood here in the scripture but I also want to put this down to those that are also of the household of faith. Amen. All right, mother. Even those are brothers and sisters as, as of the household of faith. We may not have the same natural flesh and blood, but spiritually we are of the same flesh and blood, right? When we, we are all of the body of Christ, making us one in God, okay? And so... Then, of course, verse eight, it says, then your light will break forth. I was only going to stop off at, at eight, but I started looking at a few other others, too. And Apostle, I don't know about you, but it says here, then your light will break forth like the dawn. OK, Jeez. your light will break forth. You're, you're looking for a breakthrough. You're looking for revelation. You're looking for God to move in your life. And he's telling you when you begin to move, come on, according to his will. We and we were praying also about being in alignment with the word of God, in alignment with the will of God. And he said, if you do as I have commanded and as I have instructed you to do. And then, of course, he's revealing to us some of the things he has commanded and he's uh, instructed for us to do. We seek to do all the spiritual things and all of the things that, you know, um, 
the speaking in tongues and the and the praying and the crying out and the falling out and all of these things but these are things that he says for us to do as well he says then your light will break forth like the dawn and your healing will quickly appear come on then your righteousness will go before you and the glory of the Lord will be your rear guard. You want to see God move. You know, we're talking about following the instructions of the Lord. It's easy. Uh, well, maybe not so easy for everyone, but there are some things that's easy for us to do. But he's pointing out some things that we overlook. In all of our in all of our seeking of God and trying to get to get closer to God and trying to make sure we in right standing with God, don't overlook the poor and needy and the hungry and the destitute. Don't overlook your sisters and your brothers that are that are experiencing injustices in their life. Don't over the don't overlook the oppressed. Don't look overlook the downtrodden. These are also things that He's wanting us to make sure that we are not we are not ignoring and overlooking them, but we are mindful full of them we are adhering to them come on and we're doing what we can to assist to help them amen 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 Hello? amen amen so this is in this is all falling in line with this seeking this 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 consecration this sabbatical as we're pursuing the lord and wanting to the lord to work within us can i jump on over apostle what was that the deuteronomy chapter 28 can right. I jump on over to Deuteronomy chapter 28 real quick? Okay. I'm okay. like feeling this right here. Amen. Listen, he says this in Deuteronomy chapter eight, chapter 28. He says, if you fully obey, if you fully obey the Lord your God, not just to do the, you know, the obvious things of going to church, making sure you go attend some worship, whether it be virtual or physically going to a building, not just reading your word. And we were talking about making sure that you're continually fasting and continually praying, not just that you're fasting and you're praying. All of these things are great and they're wonderful, but not just that. Come on. It's when you're also seeing to the needs of other people, those that are oppressed. Okay. Okay, those that are downtrodden, those that are defenseless. Come on, and not just praying for them either. We pray, but there's also times when God wants us to get up and do something. We may intercede, and that's great, and that's wonderful. I'm not telling you not to, because I'm sure not going to stop doing it. But there are times when he wants us to get up and do something. And so he's wanting us to be mindful of that as well, because there is word, there is text within the word for us, giving us instructions about the widows, about the hungry, about the lost, come on, about the homeless, about the orphans and what we are supposed to do for them. Praise be to God. Amen. Thank you, Praise Jesus. be to God. Apostle, you want to add anything to that? No, I, I I'm just looking at the time because I might have to get off because I have a meeting to go to. All right, so we 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 got to work on wrapping it up. Okay, so we're gonna get a, go ahead and and jump go into prayer. I was about to say jump into prayer, but we're gonna go ahead and go into prayer. I want to look at this really quick. I saw a scripture that was just typed in there. Psalms one forty seven. We're gonna go into prayer and we're praying cons surrounding these scriptures, Amen. these verses here. We're praying surrounding Isaiah 58, um, Isaiah chapter 58, verses 5 through 8. Our prayers are uh, centered on this today. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Possibly Thank you. you want to lead in this? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm 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 the league because I'm at jump right out because I'm almost late for this meeting, but I'll yes ma'am, I'll glad to. All right, we're not we're not gonna make it long because you already know I'm over I'm already over my time. <laughs> we're not gonna make it long, Apostle. <laughs> we gotta do this again though. This is enjoyment. Uh Crazy. I just, I just got I just got, a, I just got a, a a very important text. I can't give that and I'll give I'll I'll deal with that we'll deal with it after this after the thing is over okay okay in jesus name mm -hmm. god mm -hmm. father in the name of jesus we bless you we worship you thank we you lord you. glory to god all of the glory and the honor belongs to you in the name of the lord jesus christ glory yes, to god lord. god yes, we lord. just want to
bless you, Lord God. We just want to praise you. Glory to God. We want to bless you and we want to praise you. Jesus, we want to bless you and we want to praise you. Glorify your name. Lift your name up in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord for being God. Thank you for being God and being Lord. Glory, Glory to God. God. Thank you, Lord. In our yes, lives. Lord. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. God. We worship you, God. We praise you, God. We lift you up in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yes. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We worship you, God. We worship you, God. We yes, Lord. Lord. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, we yes, Lord, all of the glory, every bit of the honor belongs to you. In the yes. name, yes, thank Jesus. you, Lord, thank, thank you, blessing. Lord, thank you for your word. It's a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. Thank you for this book of Isaiah. Glory to God, even at the first verse when you told us to cry loud. Cry loud so that the people can hear. Cry loud and spare not to live yes, the Lord. Uh, like a trumpet. Show to the people their transgression. Hallelujah. Oh God, we cry loud. We cry aloud towards our White House. We cry aloud towards the senators and the governors and the mayors and all of those who are in charge of this system. Oh, God, we cry aloud over the people in the yes, name Lord. of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. The word, that they will take heed into the word. That they will know <inaudible> that <inaudible> you are God. <inaudible> that you are God. <inaudible> you are God. <inaudible> cry out to the great I am. The outward. Yes, Lord. The beginning, yes, in the first and the last, we cry yes. out the of this Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God who made the heavens and the earth and the sea. Yes. The same man in his image who blew breath into the nostrils of man and he became a living doer. We cry out to the only true and living God. We cry out to the only true and living God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. And living God in the yes, name Lord. of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I out to you, Jesus. Where among we must be saved. In the name of Jesus. We cry out to the God. In the name of Jesus. the name of Jesus. We cry out to the God of Jacob. Oh, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Bless you. We bless you. We yes, bless Lord. you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Of the Lord Jesus, Jesus. Christ, oh God, forgive us for our sins. Oh, oh, forgive us, oh God. Hallelujah. Forgive us, for Hallelujah. Our Jesus, blot them out, oh God. Yes, Create Lord. Us a clean heart and renew. Yes, Lord. Us a right spirit in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh Jesus. God. Did what you told us to do, and if by any chance, in the name of Jesus, uh, that this was a scam, if it was something to get over, God, you judge it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That's not my anointing. And <laughs> Reason, we pray for this daughter in the name yes of lord jesus. yes lord for her in the name of in jesus. the name of jesus we want to give words but we want to pray <laughs> the name of jesus jesus yes lord God, have your way, God, in Jesus' have name. Have your way, oh God. God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Have your way right now. In the yes, name Lord. Of Jesus. And we Jesus. pray for the people. In Je- we know what you said, God. You told us to come to you in actual repentance. Oh, God, forgive us. You told us to come to you and turn from our wicked ways. Yes, Lord. You and humble our soul for God, forgive yes, us Lord. for jumping across the line. Forgive us, Lord, for our sins. Move in our lives so that we can turn our lives around. We yes, pray Lord. 
Isaiah 58 will come alive to us in the name, in of, the name Jesus. of Jesus. That will come alive to our soul. In the that name of Jesus. Will be led and guide in the name of Jesus. Father. Jesus, yes, Lord. God. God, let the will that you have for us be done in us, God, in the name yes, of Lord. God. Yes, Lord. Turn things around. The yes, Lord. That we've done, the ungodly behavior that we've done, the way that we in the we name of God. Jesus, God. Our forgive eyes, us, our Lord. Lord. Things that Watch was us, oh God. Lord. Forgive us, Lord Jesus. Cleanse us, oh God. The unforgiving spirit, the spirit yes, that Lord. the animosity in the hearts of your people. Forgive Jesus. us, Lord, the transgression that's in the name of Jesus, Lord, and to block us from doing that which is right in your sight. Forgive us, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Spirits in to influence us to go forth and Jesus. do it. We have no business. Forgive us, Lord, in the name Jesus. of Jesus. Yes. That don't mean us any good back into our life. Forgive us, Lord, oh in God. the name of Jesus. Jesus. Forgive us, God. Lama. Forgive us. Forsaken those who are hungry, forsaken those who is in me, God, forgive us in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Where we can bring forth the word and let it be alive into our heart, mind, body, and soul so that we can do the to keep us on our assignment so that we can go these 16 more days and to do your will. Oh God, we just want to name of Jesus. We know that when we finish this sabbatical, then we're going to come forth as pure gold as we enter yes, into Lord. this. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Burn away the things that we need to be burned away. Uh, in the <inaudible> name of Jesus, this this flesh that want to outdo the spirit, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will bring this flesh under full subjection. Uh, yes, in the name Lord. Of Jesus. Christ, uh, so that we will think what you want us to think. Uh, we will go where you want us to go. That we will take the assignment that you have given us to go into all the world and preach the gospel. Jesus, yes, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus, the Spirit, move by your have your way in us, O God. In the name of Jesus, and have your way in us, oh God. Yes, Lord. But all of those who are in need, all of those who are in need, oh God, teach us, teach us, teach us, teach us, oh God. Teach us, Lord. Teach us, Lord. Hallelujah. Fortunate we are in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God. Jesus. Jesus. The prayer request, Jesus, for no prayer in Jesus' name. We don't know the details in all of them, God, but you do. You know what's going on, what, what, how it's going on in the name of Jesus. Everyone Jesus. That, has that prayer request and that has a situation. Yes, Lord. Or not and all the other ones that call on that prayer request for the situation Jackie, Harvey, glory to God, Margaret, Lewis and those who did we failed to mention or by name who put that prayer request God I pray needed God in the name of Jesus go there and Jesus. take the situation right now uh, in the name of Jesus and, and whatever Jesus. sin that there, whatever sin, the transgression that is there, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will blot out that transgression, wash away yes, the Lord. Iniquity. Let your spirit come forth in his spirit. Do a new thing in the name of Jesus and our daughter. that you would give her the strength that you need to go through. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, the name of Jesus forgive for the Jesus. sin, wash away the transgression, wash away all of the iniquities, create a clean heart, and renew in a right spirit. In the name of yes, Jesus. Lord, yes, Lord. Jesus stated, now you are liar. You will not interfere. Glory to God in what God has already done and has already said. In the name yes, of Lord. Jesus. yes, Lord, yes, Lord. 
your tactics. I come up against all your schemes. You in the name of Jesus. Already won the so grande basic. What is and what's not in the name of Jesus. Oh God. God, we pray that you would stop everything that's trying to come into this program, hinder it in the name of Jesus. Trying to throw a monkey in the spirit God, of the living God, intercede Jesus. right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Your blessings, healing, deliverance, and bring forth a watch that we will watch that which is not of you. And God, in Jesus' name, that we will sound the trumpet, blow 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 in the name of Jesus, Father, we lift up Angela Blake unto you, O oh God, hallelujah, and her family, God, that you would move, Lord God, by your spirit, by your power, your will be done, God, and your will be established in their life, in that home, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, let your kingdom come and your will be done in Angela's life, in the name of Jesus and in the life of her children. Give her wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, divine insight, O oh God, and what it is oh God, that she needs to do what it is, oh God, that she can do, Lord. We pray, Father God, for divine assistance, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we lift up those, oh God, that has submitted their prayer requests. We lift up, Lord God, Darius Hall, oh God, that is battling, Father God, with cancer in the name of Jesus and Angel, Lord God, with the car accident in the name of Jesus. We lift up the Johnson family, Barbara Lane, oh God, and her family in the name of Jesus. We lift up, oh God, the Hardy family in the name of Jesus, prophetess Pamela and her family. Glory to God. Father, we lift them up to you, Lord. You know the need Father, but we pray, Lord God, that your will would be done. Father, you know what their petitions have been. Yet, Lord God, as we lift them up to you in prayer, we pray, God, that your will be done. Your kingdom be established in their life. Your kingdom be established in their heart, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Bring them into alignment with your will, into alignment with your word. Father, we declare healing, oh God, for the sick. We declare healing over cancer. We declare healing, oh God, even for the ones, oh God, that have been involved in the the car accidents in the name of Jesus. God, that your angels would visit them even in their hospital. Lord God, even on their sick bed, oh God, that your angels would visit them, even the angels to minister healing right now. We're sending the word of healing, oh God, to reach them, to meet them. Glory to God, that their body be made whole. We command cancer to leave the body. All paralysis in the name of Jesus to leave the body. In the name of Jesus, as their body is made whole, their limbs are made whole. God, that we speak strength to them now in the name of Jesus. And Father, we pray, God, that even as you have brought us to this time and this place, even as you have brought us to Isaiah 58, Lord God, we praise Father today in the name of Jesus. We will not, glory to God, as we declare these words, we will not, Lord God, forsake your word. We will not forsake, Lord God, your will in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for calling to our attention those things, oh God, that we knew not, those things, oh God, that we did not see. Glory to God. And we declare, oh God, that this will not be the only time. This will not be the last time that we fast. This will not be the last time that we consecrate. This will not be the last time that we take time to seek you. Oh God, for you to wash us, to cleanse us, to purify us. This will not be the last time, but Father, that we shall continually seek your face. We will continually press into you, oh God, press into your presence. Glory to God in the name of Jesus, asking you, Lord God, to bring us into alignment with your will and your ways. In the name of Jesus, that we would walk according to your word. In the name of Jesus, among strangers and among friends, with our sisters and our brothers. Father, that your God, that you would move upon our hearts, give us the compassion glory to god and not just the compassion but the resources because some lord god have compassion but don't have the resource and some have the resource but don't have the compassion and so father we pray lord god for those that have the compassion but lack resource god that you would give them the resource and for those oh god that lack lord god compassion but have the resource god that you would give them the compassion to move lord god for those that are that are in bondage to injustices those, Father God, that are that are oppressed in the name of Jesus, Father God, that they would 
intercede for them, that they will cry out for them, but also, God, if they be in a position, oh God, that they can assist, Lord God, that their bowels of compassion will be stirred up, Lord God, and that they would move, Father God, to assist them in the name of Jesus. Move, Lord God, to see what it is that they can do to break the chains, uh, to break the, the, the bondage of oppression, and Lord God, to break the yokes uh, in the name of Jesus. Father God, those that are in the position, we pray, Lord God, that those that are in the position to help those that are in need to give food to the hungry, to provide shelter, Lord God, for the one that has no shelter, for the wanderer, oh God, for the poor and the needy and the naked and the homeless, uh, those that are in the position to see to their needs. We pray, Father God, for them, Lord God, Father God, that the, their bowels of compassion will be stirred, uh, Lord God, and that they would move to meet those needs, that they will not look down on them, they will not judge them, they will not criticize them. They will not mourn them. And even with us, oh God, that we would also be like-minded in the name of Jesus. Lord God, that we would move, oh God, to assist them. We would move to help them in the name of Jesus in whatsoever way that we are able. Glory to God, that we would see to the needs, even as your word has instructed us to do, that we are to see to the widows. We are see to the orphans. We are to see, oh God, to the poor and the needy. We are to seek, oh God, to the aliens, Lord God, that is within our cities in the name of Jesus. And I pray, God, that your word would stir within us, Lord God, that your compassion would stir within us, even as you had compassion to feed those that were hungry, Lord God, to pray, Lord God, and to minister, Lord God, hope, oh God, to the hopeless, Lord God, and could give sight to the blind, that we can minister to them in whatever way, God, that you move upon us. I pray, Father God, that you would restore compassion within us, oh God, restore faith within us, restore trust within us, oh God, in the name of Jesus, uh, that we don't look upon every individual that has a need with, with suspicion. We don't look upon them with paranoia and hold back our hand when we can when we can reach forth our hand to a system that we won't hold it back because of suspicion. My God, in the name of Jesus, but Father God, that we would trust the voice and the leading of your spirit and we would move according to your spirit, oh God, uh, in the name of Jesus to assist them. And so Father, we declare, oh God, Lord God, that your word, Father God, will not fall to the ground, but even as you have brought it to our remembrance, even as you have brought it to our attention, Lord God, that we would put ourselves in position to help the needy, to help the poor, glory to God, to feed the hungry, to provide shelter to the wanderer in the name of Jesus, clothes, oh God, to the naked. In the name of Jesus, not only are we praying, God, that you would put people in place to do this, but Father God, that you would also put us in the position and in the place that we too would do it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, fathers, you have brought this to light. God, we repent, oh God, that we had we had closed our eyes, that we had we were not able to see even those in our midst, even those that are among us, our neighbors, our friends, our sisters, and our brothers, even our own flesh and blood. We did not see their need. We did not see their suffering. God, we repent, oh God, that we were blind to their, their problems. We were blind to their issues. We were blind to the injustices that they were suffering. We were blind, oh God, to their oppression. We were blind to the yokes that was upon their neck. Father, we repent and we ask God that you would forgive us, oh God, for our blindness. Forgive us, oh God, for our deafness. Forgive us, oh God, for our ignorance in this, oh God, in the name of Jesus and Father, as you have brought this to light. My God, we pray, Lord God, and we declare, oh God, that we will no longer walk blindly. We will no longer walk in ignorance. But Father God, that we will seek out glory to God. Seek those, oh God, that we can help. We will seek, oh God, intentionally and purposely, oh God, to assist those that need assistance. Help those that need help. Glory to God to bring justice to the injustice, to break and destroy yokes. In the name of Jesus and Father, I pray for those today, oh God, that have committed to prayer and fasting, that even as you are bringing these things to light, God, that they don't push it away, but God, that they would receive your word. God, that they would take heed to your word. And I pray for those, oh God, that would take heed 
glory to God, and to move according to your spirit, oh God. Father God, that the light would break forth in their life, even as the dawn. I pray for them, oh God, that healing would take place, and it would appear in their life. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord God, that your glory would be revealed in them and through them. In the name of Jesus, I pray for them, oh God. Father God, that you, Lord God, would encourage them. You, Lord God, would strengthen them. God, that you would bring them to the place in you, oh God. Father God, that you are desiring and that you have designed for them. That you would position them, glory to God. Father God, to be your instruments in the earth that you can use to help those that are in need. Father God, that you would find within them a heart that you can trust, an individual that you can trust, Lord God, to do your will in the earth, in the name of Jesus, that an individual won't have to come up to them and say, can you do this for me? But Lord God, that they can automatically look, and Father God, that you would give them the eyes that they can see those that are in need, those that are suffering, those, glory to God, that are hungry, God, that Father God, that you would move upon us, that with our spiritual eyes, we can see their needs. Glory to God. Even as we can see those that are wanting material things, help us, glory to God, to see those that are needing, Lord God, to be fed, that is needing to be a home, that is needing, glory to God, a roof above their head and a place to lay their head. In the name of Jesus, help us, glory to God. Father God, that we're just not coming to know it because somebody has said it, but Lord God, that you are quickening within our spirit. In our spirit, oh God, is sensitive to hear and to know. Our spirit is sensitive to see and glory to God, Father, that even as you are revealing it, that we're not just praying, but Lord God, that we're putting ourselves in a position that you can use us to help them. You can use us to be a blessing to them, that you can use us, glory to God, to provide shelter for them. In the name of Jesus, I believe, God, that you are speaking this to us because you're wanting to use us. You're wanting us to be instruments, glory to God. My God, you're wanting us to be angels in the earth realm. And so, Father, I pray, God, that you would touch the heart of those, oh God, that are connected here, even on today, even those, oh God, that would come in contact with this, Lord God, at a later time, that you would stir within their heart, you would touch their heart, Lord God, that they would have compassion, Lord God, for those that are in need, they would have compassion, Lord, to those that are on the streets, they would have compassion to the drug addict, to the, Lord God, even for the lost and the hopeless that are on the streets, those that are homeless, they would have compassion, oh God, in the name of Jesus, they won't look with judgment. They won't look with a critical eye. They won't look with mockery. But Father, with compassion, they will look and they will reach out, even as Jesus reached out. And Father, as they reach out, I pray, God, that you would increase, oh God, increase them even the more, that they would be able to continue to reach out. And I pray, Father God, for those that have already begin to reach out, those that are already doing, that those are already helping, we pray for them today, oh God, that you would increase them even the more, that it would be for them even as it was with Jesus when he took the five loaves, glory to God, and the two fishes, and he was able to feed a multitude, he was able to feed thousands. And I pray, Father God, for those today, glory to God, that has the heart to do. Glory to God, but says, I don't have much. I only have little. But Lord God, I pray for them that you would multiply their little, that their little would become much, and they will be able to reach the masses. They will be able to feed the masses. They will be able to house the masses. In the name of Jesus, increase them all the more. Glory to God. Those that would move with compassion, those that would move to assist, those that would move to help, and not hold back. Lord God, those that would give out of their little. Glory to God that you would expand it, that it would become much, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus and God, as they move, I pray, Father God, for breakthrough in their life. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Father God, that your blessing would flow unhindered and uninterrupted in their life. That their cupboards would never go bare. That they would never lack anything in their life. In the name of Jesus, Father, that you would cause all grace to abound towards them. You would cause all grace to 
abound towards them for every good work oh god that they seek to do in your name glory to god that they would have all that they need in the name of jesus you would cause others you would call businesses and other people to favor them and to partner with them lord god for the vision that you have given unto them to meet the need of the weak and the lowly my god in the name of jesus to meet the need of the homeless and the destitute in the name of jesus you would cause glory to God to look at those, oh God, that are in a position uh, that are wealthy, uh, Lord God, to favor them and to give unto their bosom, uh, Lord God, so that they can build the building, uh, they can build the house, uh, they can build glory to God, the place, uh, Lord God, for the people to reside, uh, the restaurant, the cafeteria for the people to eat uh, in the name of Jesus, to provide housing, uh, to provide shelter, uh, oh God, to provide safety uh, in the name of Jesus. Bless them, oh God, Rabbi not just so that they can do that but father god that you would meet even their personal needs the needs within their own home lord god that they would lack nothing glory to god but father that you would see to their every need that you would see to their every need oh god in the name of jesus father god that they would call upon you and every time they call upon you father god that you would answer you would hear their cry and you would answer them in the name of jesus in the name of jesus father that you would heal and that you would set free, that you would deliver, oh God. We pray, Father God, even for those that are in need of help, God. That, Father God, we pray for them, Lord God, that Lord God, that you would move within their heart, that you would move in their mind, Father God, that you would give them wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We, Father God, that even when they receive the help, God, that they have the wisdom, Father, in the name of Jesus, the wisdom that they're needing, Lord God, to, to help them to go forward, Lord God, to help them in the future, Lord God, that they're not just in a position of always needing but father god that they would have better stewardship look at in in stewardship with their finances stewardship with their time stewardship with even what is being given unto them in the name of jesus and father god that even in their lack lord god that they too would sow seed because we understand this this one principle lord god that when we put seed in the ground there will always be harvest to come forth there will always be fruit that will be produced but we understand if there's no feet there's no seed in the ground there can be no harvest there can be nothing to spring forth and so father even as there was a woman glory to god that gave out of her life, that gave out of the little that she had. I pray, Father God, that you would birth within them. Glory to God, Father God, the faith to sow seed, my God, and to watch for the harvest in the name of Jesus, to believe you for the harvest. But Father, we also pray for them, God, that as you bless them, that you would give them wisdom, Lord God, for their blessing that you are giving unto them. Lord God, to teach them, Lord God, a good stewardship for the blessing that you are releasing to them in the name of Jesus, that they would manage it and manage it well. That they would manage it and manage it well. They won't squander it. They will not waste it in the name of Jesus. But Father, there will be a good stewardship Store over that that you bless them in the name of Jesus. God, we bless you and we praise you. We glorify and we magnify you. We thank you, Lord God, for this time of consecration, this time, Lord God, that you have poured into us, this time, glory to God, Father God, that you are moved within us, this time, glory to God, that you have brought correction to us. We thank you for it today, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, continue to bring us into alignment with your word. Bring us into your line, uh, into alignment with your will, O oh God. Write your words on the tablets of our, our hearts that we not stray from it, O oh God, that we not sin against you, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, that we remain attentive and tone with your will. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we say, have your way within us. Have your way within us, O oh God. This is our prayer today. And we believe, we believe your word, Lord God, that as we align ourselves to do your will, Lord God, we believe your word, Lord God, that you would bless our food and you would bless our water, God, and that you would take the sickness from our midst. We believe, glory to God, that as we, Lord God, as we align ourselves to worship you in spirit and in truth, we believe your word, glory to God, that no sickness will come nigh our dwelling place. 
in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We believe your word, oh God, that your word will not return back to you void, but it shall accomplish all that it has been sent to accomplish in our lives because we have submitted ourselves unto you. Because we have submitted ourselves unto you, oh God. Father God, that you will complete the work that you have begun in us today. You will complete the work that you have begun on us even at the beginning of this month. You will complete the work that you have begun in us in the name of Jesus. It will not be half done. We will not be half baked. But Father God, it will be completed even unto the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. So Lord, we bless you today. We praise you, O oh God. We glorify and magnify your name. You are awesome. In all your ways, you are faithful. You are loving and you are kind. And Father, we bless you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. I don't know if Apostle is still with me. I know he had to, to leave and I can't tell if he's still with me or not. Praise be unto God. I bless God for each and every one of you that have joined in with us, that have connect, connected with us in prayer. Praise be to God for those of you that uh, will so encourage you to do so. We're wanting to be a blessing um, to this young lady. We're going to have to look and see how we can, um, how we are able to carry forth with, with what it is that um, we're wanting to do and being a blessing to her. Sorry, I had to, I had a, uh, I had an emergency uh, from the family that I cannot put across the air. All right. Uh, uh, I have to, uh, I'm going to have to, uh, I can't put this up there. I was told not to put it across the air. I understand. So. Praise be to God. We believe God. We believe God. Hallelujah. We believe God. Praise be to God. But Marlene, we're believing God that um, he is going to meet the needs in your life. He's going to meet the needs in your life as you submit to him. Come on. Glory to God. As you submit to him, he will meet the needs of your life. Allow God to order your steps and direct your path. Follow the instructions that God has given unto you. Uh, listen. Glory to God. We're we're in a position in a place where we have to trust God to. Come on, we have to trust God to. So we're not telling you anything that we're not that we have not put into practice. That we have not put into practice. We have to trust God to glory to God to move in our lives for different things. So we're not telling you anything um, that we're not putting into practice. And we have to submit ourselves to the Lord. We have to allow him to order our steps and direct our path. We have to allow him to, to correct us in some things as well. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. But I believe God for you, Marlene. I believe God for you. Apostle, was there anything that you're wanting to add? Uh, no, everything been said. I, I, Praise be to God. So we're going to go ahead and if it's okay, we're going to go ahead and release for today. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Amen. Amen. We all have to go through the process. Absolutely. We all have to go through the process. And it's a faith walk. It's a faith walk. And I believe this, God puts people in place. God puts people in place to be a blessing to us. He puts people in place to be a blessing. He uses people. God uses people. We don't have to use nobody. God uses them. We don't have to have plots and plans and schemes and scams to use nobody. God does that. And when you let God do it, it's done right. Come on, they don't feel offended. They don't feel slighted. They don't feel used and abused and taken advantage of or none of that. Right? I'm, God I'm, 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 I'm sorry to interrupt, Apostle, when I'm going to have to sign off. Uh, All right. We're going to sign off. I have to, I'm going to have to. You, don't, you, you go ahead. I don't want to interfere. I don't know how to do it. 
<laughs> we, we, we are about done. So let me do it so you don't kick me out too. So we're going to go ahead and sign off at the same time. So um, praise be to God. I, I can praise. take it. Uh, bless the lord bless the lord all right so it is uh 2 36 here our time i came on late and we getting out late um but praise be to god the lord's will always shall be done thank you all once again for joining in with us thank you all those of you that um were able to give we bless god for you again we will see we will um do our best to um be able to be a blessing to um this daughter of the lord um continue to pray for us as we remain in the will of God. We continue to pray for you as you remain in the will of God. Come on, remain steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the love of God. The Lord bless you, all of those that you were, that were able to give and to sow and, and um, God bless you, um, increase you all the more in the name of Jesus. We're going to go ahead and sign off. Please do remember, um, and forgive me, I was I was incorrect in a part of the announcements this afternoon as I started. Uh, remember that Apostle will be on tomorrow. He will be on tomorrow morning. Unless there's a correction to that, Apostle, please let us know. Uh, tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Eastern. No, uh, uh, 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Uh, I'm almost sure morning glory will. Yeah, we'll be on morning glory. Yes, I'm sorry. All I'm, right, I'm morning glory. I'm not thinking right. straight ahead in several different directions. I'm sorry, please forgive me. It's all right. Morning Glory tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So those of you that are able to please rise, please rise, please rise and join us for Morning Glory. And then, of course, um, he will be on at 3.30. Everything yes. happens for a reason. Amen. Yes. Um, at 3 30 p.m eastern standard time on tomorrow midday inspiration keeping it real my apostle will also be on during that time you can join him apostle michael bobby and you can join him um, for the word of the lord during that time you can join me tomorrow morning we're gonna get in the word in the morning we're gonna get in prayer in the morning you're gonna have some more word in the afternoon join me tomorrow morning as we journey through the scriptures journey journey through the scriptures and discover the kingdom of god join me tomorrow at 10 15 a.m eastern standard time all right those are our announcements and reminders once again thank you all for joining in with us on today god bless you have and smile upon you the peace and the love of god the grace of god overtake you overflow upon you in the name of jesus have a phenomenal rest of your day